Boom. Welcome back to Mwaki Insights. Today, we're not just talking about any run-of-the-mill fireworks. We're diving into the world of missiles, the kind that could make your neighbor's 4th of July display look like a party popper. From hypersonic speedsters to nuclear giants, we're ranking the top 10 most powerful missiles on the planet. So buckle up and prepare for a ride that's more explosive than your aunt's chili at family gatherings. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. To kick things off, let's define what a powerful missile really is. It's not just about being big and scary. A truly formidable missile has four key attributes, speed, range, payload capacity and accuracy. Imagine a missile that can carry a nuclear warhead and reach thousands of kilometers in mere minutes. That's the kind of firepower that changes the game. Take the RS-28 Sarmat, affectionately dubbed Satan II. This Russian ICBM can carry up to 10 tons of nuclear payload and reach targets 11,000 kilometers away. That's like shooting a basketball from New York to Paris, if Paris were a city-sized target and the basketball was a nuclear bomb. Pretty impressive, right? Did you know? The Sarmat is designed to evade radar and anti-missile defenses, making it the life of the party at missile conventions. It's like the popular kid in school, but instead of a varsity jacket, it wears stealth technology. Additionally, a missile's accuracy is often measured in terms of its circular error probable CEP, the radius within which half of a missile's impacts are expected to fall. The lower the CEP, the more precise the missile. A CEP of less than 100 meters means the missile can hit a target with high reliability, making it a formidable asset in modern warfare. Next up, we have hypersonic missiles or the speed demons. These babies fly faster than a speeding bullet, well, several speeding bullets combined. Capable of exceeding Mach 5, over 6,000 kilometers per hour, they're the sprinters of the missile world, leaving traditional defenses scratching their heads like confused cats. Check out China's DFZF hypersonic glide vehicle. It skims low to the ground, flying under the radar, literally, and reaching speeds above 7,500 kilometers per hour. That's like trying to catch a cheetah on roller skates. If you blink, you'll miss it. The challenge with hypersonic missiles is not just their speed, but their maneuverability. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles that follow a predictable trajectory, hypersonic missiles can change course mid-flight, making them incredibly difficult to intercept. This ability complicates defense strategies, as radar systems may struggle to track their erratic paths. Countries around the world are racing to develop their hypersonic technology. The US, Russia and China are all investing heavily fearing that whoever masters this tech first could dominate future conflicts. It's like a high-speed game of chicken, with each country revving their engines. Now let's talk about the big bad boys, the nuclear missiles. These are the ultimate deterrents in the game of international chess. The technology packed into these warheads is astounding, allowing for mass destruction with an efficiency that could make a chef jealous. The US Minuteman III can carry three independently targetable re-entry vehicles, Mervs. So if you thought one nuke was scary, imagine a trio of them headed for your backyard barbecue. You'll need more than just a spatula to handle that situation. The Minuteman III has been in service since the 1970s, proving that like a fine wine, good technology only gets better with age and some upgrades. It's basically the vintage cabinet of nuclear weapons. Nuclear missiles are often equipped with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, Mervs which allow a single missile to carry several nuclear warheads, each capable of hitting different targets. This capability complicates defense strategies significantly, as it poses a challenge for interception systems to neutralize multiple threats simultaneously. Let's clear the air. What's the difference between ballistic and cruise missiles? Ballistic missiles are the athletes that jump high and come crashing down, while cruise missiles glide smoothly like a well-trained pilot who never skips leg day. Russia's Kaliber cruise missile is known for its precision and stealthy strikes, while the US Trident 2D5 is the ultimate submarine-launched ballistic missile. They can take out targets without breaking a sweat, unless you count the sweat from the people on the receiving end. Cruise missiles are often designed to be used against specific high-value targets with great precision, flying at low altitudes to avoid detection. In contrast, ballistic missiles are designed for long-range attacks and can deliver massive payloads, but often have less maneuverability. 
the range of cruise missiles can vary significantly. The Tomahawk cruise missile, for example, has a range of about 1,600 kilometers, allowing it to strike deep behind enemy lines without ever being detected by radar systems. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the ranking of the top 10 most powerful missiles. This ranking isn't just about size, it's about the strategic impact, technology, and sheer firepower each missile brings to the table. Let's dive in. Number 10, Agni-5 from India. With a range of 5,000 kilometers, this three-stage intercontinental ballistic missile represents a significant leap in India's missile capabilities. Its ability to reach targets across Asia and parts of Europe solidifies India's position as a regional power. With a payload capacity of one and a half tons, it can carry multiple warheads, enhancing its deterrence capability. The Agni-V's advanced navigation system and reliability in test launches demonstrate India's commitment to strengthening its defense posture in an increasingly volatile region. Number 9. RSM-56 Bulava from Russia With a range of 8,000 kilometers, this submarine-launched ballistic missile is designed to be stealthy and reliable. With the ability to carry up to 10 nuclear warheads, it enhances the survivability of Russia's nuclear deterrent by allowing launch from submerged platforms, making it difficult for adversaries to detect. Its development faced numerous challenges, but successful tests have reinforced its role as a key component of Russia's nuclear triad. Number 8. Hwasong-15 from North Korea With a range of 13,000 kilometers, this ICBM can theoretically reach targets throughout the continental United States. It showcases North Korea's ambitions to establish itself as a nuclear power. Its successful test launches have raised global concerns regarding regional stability. The missile's design reflects North Korea's efforts to overcome technological hurdles, indicating progress in its missile program despite international sanctions. Number 7. RS-24 Yars from Russia With a range of 11,000 kilometers, the Yars is a mobile ICBM that can be launched from road mobile platforms, making it harder to detect and target. With its MIRV capability, it can carry up to four nuclear warheads, allowing for a flexible response to threats. The YARS represents Russia's modernization of its nuclear forces, combining mobility and advanced targeting systems to enhance its strategic deterrence. Number 6. DF-41 from China With a range of 15,000 kilometers, this missile is notable for its sheer range, capable of striking most locations in the US within 30 minutes of launch. It's a road mobile ICBM equipped with MIRVs, enhancing its effectiveness against missile defense systems. The DF-41 signifies China's growing military capabilities and its desire to assert itself on the global stage, prompting strategic shifts in US and allied defense postures. Number 5. Trident 2D5 from the USA With a range of 12,000 kilometers, the Trident 2D5 is the backbone of the US Navy's nuclear deterrent, launched from submarines. It's known for its accuracy and reliability, capable of delivering multiple warheads to different targets with pinpoint precision. Its role in maintaining a credible second strike capability ensures that the US can respond effectively to any nuclear threat, serving as a key component of nuclear deterrence strategy. Number 4. RS-28 Sarmat, also known as Satan-2. With a range of 11,000 kilometers, this heavy ICBM is designed to replace the aging R-36M and can carry up to 10 tons of payload. Its advanced guidance system and ability to evade missile defense systems make it a formidable force in the nuclear arsenal. The Sarmat is particularly concerning due to its potential to deliver heavy payloads, including multiple warheads, increasing its destructive capacity exponentially. Number 3. K4 SLBM from India. With a range of 3,500 kilometers, this submarine-launched ballistic missile provides India with a credible sea-based deterrent. Its development reflects India's efforts to enhance its maritime security and strategic capabilities. The K-4's ability to launch from submarines allows for greater survivability and flexibility in responding to threats, enhancing India's second strike capability. Number 2. DFZF from China Its range is not publicly disclosed, but this hypersonic glide vehicle is a game-changer, flying at speeds exceeding Mach 5 and capable of maneuvering mid-flight. Its development is a response to the growing sophistication of missile defense systems globally. The DFZF complicates traditional defense strategies, as it can evade interception, highlighting the technological arms race in hypersonic weapons. And finally, number 1. R-36M, known as Satan. With a range of 16,000 kilometers, 
This Soviet-era missile is still one of the most powerful ICBMs ever built. It can carry up to 10 MIRVs and is designed to defeat missile defenses, making it a nightmare scenario for adversaries. Despite its age, the R-36M remains a potent deterrent, demonstrating that legacy systems can still play a critical role in modern military strategy. Now, before you start sweating bullets thinking about all this firepower, let's talk about defense. Can we stop these missiles? The US has its THAAD, Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System, and Israel's Iron Dome is legendary for intercepting short-range threats. It's like trying to catch raindrops in a bucket. Good luck with that. The THAAD system is designed to intercept and destroy short, medium, and intermediate-range ballistic missiles during their terminal phase of flight. It uses hit-to-kill technology, meaning it collides with the target at hypersonic speeds, no explosives needed. Think of it as a game of aerial dodgeball, but with significantly higher stakes. The Iron Dome, developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, is designed specifically to intercept short-range threats like rockets and artillery shells. Its ability to track and destroy incoming projectiles in mid-air has been a game-changer for Israel, saving countless lives. Imagine a superhero that doesn't just stop bullets but sends them back where they came from. However, defending against ICBMs and hypersonic missiles poses unique challenges. For instance, the speed of a hypersonic missile means that intercepting it requires a response time of mere minutes. Most current systems are optimized for slower, predictable threats, making them ill-equipped to handle the unpredictability of hypersonic flight paths. Countries are investing in research and development to improve missile defense capabilities. The US is enhancing its Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System, which is deployed on Navy ships, and is also exploring new technologies, such as directed energy weapons and advanced radar systems. Meanwhile, Russia is developing the S-500 system, which is touted to be capable of intercepting hypersonic missiles and stealth aircraft, showcasing a global arms race in missile defense technology. The reality is that while missile defense systems have made significant strides, they cannot guarantee complete protection against all missile threats. The best strategy remains deterrence, the idea that the threat of retaliation is enough to prevent an attack. In a world where nations possess devastating firepower, maintaining a delicate balance between offense and defense is crucial. Interestingly, the concept of missile defense dates back to the Cold War, with early systems like the Nike Ajax and Safeguard programs attempting to counter Soviet missile threats. Today's technology is a far cry from those early attempts, like comparing a flip phone to a smartphone. So there you have it. The world of missiles is as terrifying as it is fascinating. With nations constantly developing new technologies and strategies, we can only hope that diplomacy prevails. Which missile do you think deserves the crown? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this deep dive into missile technology, don't forget to subscribe for more insights. Remember, knowledge is power, and staying informed is the best defense we have.